Hey guys! Okay, so this is my 26 week update. I apologize for the lighting, it's like 3 p.m. because I waited for my mom's boyfriend to go to work. I don't know about you guys, I just feel really awkward filming around other people. Now that I am alone, 26 weeks and one day along today, um, that means the baby is the size of an eggplant. 9.2 inches long, but that's from head to rump. I think next week they're going to be measuring from head to toe. So that should be interesting because all of a sudden it'll seem like the baby is like 15 inches long or something. Oh, he's moving right now. <laughs> Two pounds, about there, which makes sense. My stomach feels so heavy. Um, they also said that the baby will be blinking their eyes now, and I'm pretty sure he's been able to see like the light in the dark anyways, and there's not much to see in there to begin with. But that's pretty cool. He also has grown little tiny fingernails, which I'm going to have to clip. I'm sure to keep him from scratching his face and stuff when he's born, so that's exciting. My book also said that he's going to be the most active these next three weeks, which makes sense because he's been really active lately, like during the day and during the night and during, like just all the time basically. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm at work, he's still kicking like the whole time, which he used to sleep through it because I'm constantly moving and rocking him. Now he is just active, active, so. That's fun though, I like it. I love feeling him move around. It's strange and awesome. I did notice that during week 25 I was kind of nauseous, which I haven't had happen since really the first trimester. I think it's because he's moving so much more or something, I'm not sure. But yeah, there was a few days there where I would try to go to work and I'd have to be like snacking constantly because I just didn't feel very well. But that's fine, it's over with, so. On to the next symptom, I guess. I also have been dealing with shortness of breath. Um, there was actually, I think it was last Wednesday, I got dropped off near work and I was waiting and then I felt horrible. My back really, really hurt. I was really short of breath. I was like concentrating on my breathing and stuff and I ended up not, I ended up calling out basically. I'm not going to work. So I made a doctor's appointment for Friday and I went to that. He said that it could be because um, I get acid reflux like at night and he thought maybe it was getting into my lungs and kind of irritating them and then also probably because I'm still wearing the exact same bras that I was always wearing and I feel like I haven't gotten much bigger right on my ribcage or anything but I don't know it's just way that's just exactly where the bones are connecting and it just is making it hard to breathe wearing like a tight bra all the time so <laughs> I invested in a sports bra, which I'm wearing right now, and it's helped a little bit because I definitely, before, whenever I got home, I was like, Phew, bra off, breathe, deep breaths, feel so much better. So, yeah, drinking more water, might have to get Tums for the acid reflux to try and make it better, and wearing a sports bra. So hopefully that will help because the shortness of breath is just makes you feel like lightheaded and not good. My stomach has also been feeling like super tight. I mean, I can just tell sometimes I don't feel like I'm growing at all in my stomach. And I'm like, oh, my next update's probably not going to look that much different, I guess. And then sometimes like overnight I'll wake up and be like, I feel like he grew overnight. <laughs> That's what happened the other day. I feel like the whole week I felt pretty much the same. And then one night I went to sleep and woke up and I was like, uh, I don't know if he's in a different position or what. I feel huge. My belly button looks, you know, even more outy than normal. So I don't know how that works, the growing pattern. <laughs> but right now it feels very tight, very uncomfortable. And I'm sure it's just going to get worse because only at 26 weeks and I have a lot further to go. My skin has a lot further to stretch, unfortunately. But... Keep on keeping on, basically. Oh, also, <laughs> at work, I work at a retail, I work at Old Navy, um, a customer touched my belly. So that was a first, because I really thought like strangers weren't going to touch my stomach. I thought that was just a thing, like some kind of nightmare myth that people talk about, but yeah. She did touch my stomach. Um, it was a very old lady, she was like definitely in her 80s. And she just kind of was like, oh, there's a baby in there, and pat it. I was just kind of like, yep, there is. But I do get a lot of dirty looks. Um, 
I either get dirty looks at Old Navy because I look young. People think, my mechanic literally thought I was in high school when I went this week to get my tires changed. Um, I'm actually 23. People probably think I'm 17, so I get like nasty, nasty looks. But either that or of course they're like super interested and super excited, asking if it's my first baby, what I'm gonna name him, etc. So kind of different scale, different ends of the scale in excitement but I hope no one else touches my stomach. I'm sure that Old Navy would let me tell customers not to touch me, but at the same time, it's an old lady and it's not like a 30-year-old man or something just like rubbing on my tummy. So, fingers crossed, that is like a one-time incident. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, my coat is starting to not fit. I can tell when I zip it up that it's not gonna fit that much longer. It's really like, just stretching. <laughs> And it's got that whole thing going on where like, I don't think it's, I think it's like lifting up because of the whole belly thing. So there's like a kind of a gap and breeziness happening. Um, my shirt for work is also getting kind of tight. So luckily I did get some more Skula stuff and among that stuff, I got some like big shirts and sweaters and things. Um, so that's good because I need more clothes apparently. I'm just getting... Huge. So speaking of Skula, I'll just show you some of the other stuff I've been getting in the mail. It seems like, I don't know, every couple days I get a new package with a couple things from Skula that I got for free. I got these little shorts. Cute. I also got these little shorts. I'm like looking past you into the mirror so I can see what I'm seeing. Turtle butt. Little beach dude shirt. Cute. This is a Gap shirt, just plain gray onesie. Um, this little nautical themed shirt, it's like a little button down. I thought that was super cute, see? Okay, this one's kind of big, I think it was like 24 months or something, but yeah. For the future, a monster pajama top. Submarine onesie. Awesome. Another polo onesie thing happening. Mommy's Little Explorer onesie, and I like these little striped sleeves, that's adorable. And last but not least, Mommy's Little Monster, which is also just a little onesie, so. Well yeah, these were all free, which was awesome. I will put the um, links to Skula in the description, and also the links to Thread Up, because I'm expecting a few more things from there for free. Yeah, I just don't know why you guys don't want free stuff. All you have to do is click on the referral and join. So easy. I've been enjoying all my free stuff. What can I say? I'm excited to dress him and I'm trying to get different colors. As you can see, I got, you know, some yellow, some green, some oranges. Of course, my favorite color is blue. It's really hard not to get blue. Even if I had a girl, I would have gotten probably a lot of blue. Oh well. So I don't think there's really much more to say. Um, obviously he's getting a lot bigger. I can feel him kicking like way high up now and his kicks are really strong. And I just feel like I'm getting to know him more or like talking to him and I don't know, picturing what he's going to look like. I think he's going to look like Clyde. Um, I think he's going to have dark hair. I hope he has dark eyes. I don't know. It's like exciting. To imagine that like in my brain I picture him as like a brown haired, brown eyed little boy and when he comes out he could just be blonde hair, blue eyes like me. So that's just exciting. I've just been watching everyone's vlogs and just thinking about future vlogs and what I'm going to do. Like I hope in the years to come that I can do like the whole Christmas giveaways and stuff and yeah. So getting ready for Christmas, cooking cookies and decorating the tree getting stocking stuffers. Um, I might vlog Christmas just because I want to and I want to get in the practice of vlogging for when he's here. But yeah, might test run that. We'll see. No promises though. <laughs> and I think by next time I'll have done my glucose test because I'm 26 weeks now and I have to do it before 28 weeks which will be my next update for this pregnancy. Hopefully that goes okay. Scheduling it seems kind of like difficult, but whatever, I'm doing it. So I'll just get right into it and do the belly shot now. The side, and the front, and the front, 
and the side. So yeah, I feel like I haven't grown that much since last week, or last update. Um, but still just a huge basketball, basically. Okay, so that is pretty much it. Don't forget to comment and like. I can't wait to talk to you guys next time. And I've been watching all your vlogs. I hope that they're continuing to go smoothly so far. So good. So, bye!